Okay guys, so I actually have my adjustment today and I don't know, I always get anxiety when I have my adjustments because I'm like, oh, what are they gonna do to me today? Um, last time it wasn't that bad, so hopefully it's the same this time, but this is what my teeth look like right now. Before my adjustment and um, these were actually the last of my rubber bands. <laughs> so, you know, I've been wearing them and changing them the way that I'm supposed to. If I actually ran out, thank God I have an appointment today because it's the last of my rubber bands. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll let you guys know how it goes after I get out. Okay, bye. All right, so I am home from my orthodontist appointment. And of course I forgot to bring my headgear because I was rushing so fast. I mean, I had on short shorts and flip flops just straight off the beach from California. <laughs> Cause I was rushing, just trying to make it there on time and forgot my headgear at home. <sighs> and of course I heard about it from my orthodontist and the ortho assistant. They were like, you did not bring your headgear? What? My orthodontist said, you need to bring your headgear like you bring your teeth. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, so nothing really happened today. They just uh, bent my wires back, like twisted them from where they, from where the space is closing and they're pushing out in the back. So they just, you know, curled them under on all four sides. So that tells me that, you know, at least the spaces are closing somewhat. But no wire change, no change in the wearing of rubber bands. Um, the ortho assistant did say that I could go ahead and move my headgear back a space, you know, if I felt like it's, you know, a little bit looser than it had been. I, I probably will do that. I don't know which side to do it on, though, because as you can see, it's on hole number two on the left side and it's on hole number five on the right side. So I probably should have asked that question before I left, but maybe I'll call down there and ask but um, other than that, there were really no changes that were going to be made, but I did ask for a special request. I was like, please, 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 please take my bite blocks off. And my orthodontist was not happy to do it at all. <laughs> like, I want to say like, like, oh, he was like, yeah, sure. Why not? No, that was not the reaction that I got at all. It was like, um, Okay, but if I do that, X, Y, Z is going to happen and blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, just take them off. Oh, please, just take them off. And so he did. He, he took them off. So I am. Ah, that hurts so bad. <laughs> I am bite block free, though. That's what I was trying to show you before I just pop myself. With the rubber band that I can't even get out now. Now I gotta take my headgear out. And it's gonna be a whole ordeal just to get this rubber band back in. <sighs> Frustrating. But as you can see, I'm bite block free. So that's about it, you guys. They did tell me that next time I go to the orthodontist, um, my next adjustment, they'll be giving me a wire um, for this part. So my bite doesn't look so deep, because if you notice, hey, look, it's Candace. Hey, Candace. Hi. <laughs> if you notice here, my teeth kind of go in like a, a sad face, <laughs> for lack of a better explanation. They have like a curve, and so it, it makes my bite look deeper um, than it should look. So she said that they were going to bend the wire down some, I guess in a happy face kind of motion to kind of see the look. See, it's more apparent when I do that, when you can see it against the, the darkness of the inside of my mouth, you can see that kind of, you know, curve that I'm talking about. So she said that they're going to curve the wire this way so that my teeth will kind of, you know, so I won't have that bite looking so deep. So crazy thing, um, even though my bite blocks are off, my teeth still don't touch here. Let me, let me show you 
look. They still don't touch back there. My teeth are actually hitting up here. Right here. And right here is where my teeth are hitting. So, you know, are my back teeth, is it really gonna be any easier to eat? Probably not, I'm thinking not. Um, and that sucks because I was really looking forward to that. I was looking forward to my back teeth being able to touch again, but they actually don't. My back teeth still don't touch, even with the bite blocks off, and that's a big disappointment, but ah, here we are. Here we are on this braces journey, and that's it. That's it. That's my adjustment update for today. I have a whole 10 weeks to wait until my next adjustment. So hopefully in that space, in that time, uh, the spaces will be closed. See, I got spaces on the brain. In that amount of time, hopefully my spaces will be closed and I'll be so excited. Please, in Jesus name, amen. Okay, bye guys, have a good one.